Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Shalanda and this is Saving with Shalanda. Hello to all my returning subscribers and welcome to all the new subscribers. Thank you guys for being here. I'm coming on to do a series of Canva tutorials. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in, keep on watching. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Go ahead and smash the like button because you're going to like and you're going to love this video. Be sure to leave me some comments below. Be sure to watch the ads that play throughout the video and share my video. All right. So let's hop into it. So today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, make month ahead trackers. So we'll probably do, um, we'll do that probably all this week, guys. I'll do a few can few different tutorials to show you like how to do one for rent, how to do one for the certain utilities and things like that to break it up and everything. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in, keep on watching. All right, so I'm in the main screen of Canva. Like I said, we always wanna start here. We're gonna go to create a design. All right, and you're gonna type in flyer in this box. I spelled that wrong, but here it is. All right, and uh, I wanna do the lamp the landscapes so let's do the 11 by 5 11 by 8 by 5 okay right here i'm not gonna open it up i already got one open to save on time and stuff my computer's a little slow okay so here's the track i've actually already made to show you an example of what we'll be doing today okay i just added on to my last project okay let me try to get down there okay so as you can see I did it two ways, but this is probably what you're familiar with, with the little boxes here. You'll um, assign that amount for which, whatever bill you have. So you put your rent here, um, utility payment, whatever it is, and you're going to save for the month, and you'll have a certain amount of boxes for the icons. Each box is going to represent, the, you know, maybe like $10, $5, whatever your month is. So it's going to be total bill divided by the amount of icons here, okay? And so once you save the amount for each icon, you're going to color and icon and stuff that envelope into your month ahead envelope for this particular bill, okay? So for instance, say if this was for my um, uh, rent payment, it's $900. I got 90 uh, icons, so it's gonna be $10 per icon, okay? So each one is worth $10. So if I had $20, I would color in two, and then I'll cash the $20 into my month ahead envelope for my rent, okay? So I did that with the regular boxes that I've seen this be done. But like I said, if you want to take it a little step further and get you some, I guess, better looking icons than these, go over and look for some icons in Canva that specifically say rent. And you can change this from being just like for any kind of bill here. And you can just make it specifically for rent. Okay, so this is what we're doing. We're doing the rent one today. So this is what I'm going to recreate in the next um, page. Okay, so that that's what we're going for. Let me scroll down. I'm trying to stay within the screen, guys. It's kind of hard trying to get to my arrow bar. <laughs> All right. So what I want to do, I'm going to come down here. I'm going to add a page to this, okay? Because we're going to start completely over. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller so you guys can see and I can see the lines on here. All right. So there we go. That's our page. We're going to come over to Elements. We're going to do a shape. The ones I've done today are in A5. I think I might, I may have time to show you how to do this in A5 and A6, but we'll see. I'm doing it for A5 for right now. The dimensions for A5, 8 by 5, okay? Fits best in zipless envelopes. If you don't want to use zip, if you want to use zippered envelopes, go smaller, okay? But these are specifically for um, dimensions for zipless envelopes, okay? So that that is not any extra room in them and you don't see all that plastic, okay? which is ugly, all that plastic, ugh. <laughs> all right, I put a border on this, guys. I always put my borders at 15. Um, I'm gonna do my background color and, and my branding colors, which is white. I mean, not white, but pink, okay? Then I'm gonna right-click on this and I'm gonna press duplicate because I want two on the page. Okay, two foot on the page for A5, okay? Just like that. I'm going to um, go ahead and get my elements that I want. We can do this side over here first, which is the easiest. So you just add in a square here. You're gonna size it down to like a normal size square, like that, about like that. 
That might be small enough. Let me make this a little bit bigger, guys. Let's see. Okay. I'm going to make this white. And that way you can color it in. Get rid of this one. All right. I'm going to make it white. Come on, color bar. Okay, my computer is slowing down a little bit, but bear with me. <laughs> I'm put the border on it first, okay? Oh, there's the color box now, so I'm going to make this white. Okay, so now it's white like I wanted it to be. I'm going to scooch it down just a little bit. All right, maybe like a little bit more. I'm going to get all my writings and things that I know that I want on there. And then I'm going to start uh, duplicating boxes and kind of just spread them out a little bit. Okay, so I made eight on here. I kind of scoot them over a little bit more. I just moved my um, thing out the way, guys. I'm going to group all these together, move that box down so I can try to get them all together. I'm just going to make them smaller once I get them all together. Okay, so I'm going to group all these like this, highlight them all, press group, and I'm going to kind of move. It allows me to, let's see. It won't allow me to shrink it down. I'm going to start over. I'm going to delete that. Okay, I'm a, I guess that's a three by three box. White, put a border. Make my border too. I don't want it that thick on, on this one here. Okay. Okay, that's better. More of what I was going for. Again, I'm going to highlight all this. So I can move them easily. Okay. So here we go. I'm going to stretch them a little bit over. Okay. It goes to the ends, edges. Okay, so this these will work. They're not perfect how I want them, but they are right for right now to do our demonstration. And I basically just want to make 10 boxes, or however many boxes I want to get. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 11, 12. Okay, I ended up getting 12 rows of these, so 12 times 9. You will do the math on that. I think that's 108. Now, instead of the 90 that I had at first, I'm going to press calculator. And my computer is slow, guys. Let's see. All right, 12 times 9 is 108. So that's going to be our total number of icons for this, okay? Which is okay. It's a little bit more than at the top of these are smaller boxes, okay? Like I said, it varies each time you do it. But I'm not going to I'm gonna just leave it that way. Uh, I'm going to go to Elements. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to type in Rent, okay? Go to Graphics. You can pick whatever icons you want, guys. But like I said, I'm looking for free stuff. Like this is the free one here. This is free. You know, whatever this doesn't have a pro element icon next to it, you can use as um you can just use a house or whatever it is you want to use, guys, for your icon. But like I said, I'm I chose this rent sign here. This so this was the original color of it. I just 
I made this white so you can color it in for those people that um, enjoy coloring saves, okay? So just make it white and there you go. So I'm just gonna make this smaller and I think I did four, six of these across. Okay, that works. So we're going to click on one, press shift. So we can group them together. Group. And put it in place where I want it at. And I'm going to make some more rows. So basically the idea with these is the more... Um, the more icons, the smaller your payments will have to be. Each payment will be the the lesser icons, the more you'll be putting in at, at once. Okay. So if you had, like I said, this is 108 icons, this is 42 icons. So each one of these is about three times more. So if you only had $20, you might can color in, um, a couple of these over here, but over here, you only probably be able to color in one, you know what I'm saying? Something like that or less than one. So it all kind of like depends on what, what you kind of like prefer. You if you to feel if you're making progress, you want to do the smaller icons like the squares over here. But if you want to really attack it and like you know you plan on getting done quickly or you know stuffing lots of money, then this would be the the bigger icons would be more idealistic for you to make to make it seem like you're making progress. Okay, so that's that. Then we're going to add some text, guys. All right. I'm going to type in um, heading. I'm just removing this extra space off the ends of these like this. Okay, now like I said, I'm gonna make this one say rent. As we know that we're specifically paying rent here, okay. I'm gonna just, uh, I'm gonna duplicate this and put it on the other side. And we're just going to put bill over here. Because like I said, in that case, you can use it for any bill. It don't have to be specific, specific to rent if you don't want it to be. Like I said, it kind of just like depends on what it is that you like. Like if you like, uh, I'm just putting a line in here, guys. So I can make a line. So you write your bill on the line here. I make another box and what did I say? What did I say up here? Let me go look. Monthly bill total was the next thing it said. I'm going to line everything to the left. All right. Now I'm going to bring down the line here. Okay. Like I said, you can play with the text and stuff, guys. Change this whatever you want it to be. Like I said, I'm not going to do that for the purposes of this video, okay? Because like I said, I don't fool with text too much, all right? <laughs> so here we go. We're going to put this one here has, uh, what did this one say? Total bill amount divided by the number of icons. Put 
this line over here. Then we're going to have it start to say, um, we're going to put like the divider line divided by 108 icons because that's how many it is. Then you'll put the equal sign. And like I say, you just want to size this down, the font down to match what's up there. So it needs to be smaller. Okay. Okay, so like I said, it looks something like this. Total bill amount divided by total number of icons. Then you'll have something that says each icon is um, Let's duplicate and last, guys. You have each icon is this amount with this, like that. Like I said, you make this, make the font as big or small as you want, as pro pronounce how you want it, guys, and stuff. I don't like to tell people how to do their stuff. Okay, not like that, but... You get it. You can make, like I said, change the fonts, do what you need to do. I'm actually going to move my box out the way a little bit because I want to uh, move this text. I'm going to group it all together. So highlight it, group it together so that I can move it on here. Okay. I'm going to bring this up here. Okay. Move this exactly where I want it. I'm going to go up here and steal my uh, logo. Okay, so that's that. So that's the first one. And like I said, I'm probably going to go ahead. I'm going to steal this from over here. I'm just going to copy and paste. Uh, copy. Then right click paste. I want this over here. I'm going to get rid of this one. All right, I'm just move this over here. I do want this one up a little bit higher because I'm going to move. I don't need the bill line. So ungroup. Like I said, I'm going to change this to make it say rent because I know this is specifically for rent. I mean, I don't need that line. I'm going to move this one over here. Like I said, you just change the word that says bill to rent because this is specifically for rent because the icons are rent. Okay. You're going to change that amount. It's 42 rent icons on there instead of the 108 for the boxes. So you just adjust it like that. Like I said, it just kind of like depends if you want to use icons or you want to just use the boxes. Okay, guys, it's totally up to your desi um, design set, how you want to do it, what you prefer or what you think people would prefer. Okay, we're going to put, I'm going to just ungroup this really quickly and take one of these as well. Just moving stuff around. Each icon, and then I'm going to put my logo on this side as well. All right, so that's basically it. And like I say, you just play with the text to make it bigger or smaller, more pronounced, okay? However you feel fit, what you think looks good to you, okay? So let me go ahead. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and download this one, guys. But like I said, this is the beginning of our, what we're calling our month ahead, finders or whatever, trackers, if you wanna make your own. Okay. 
And like I said, you can do this in a variety of colors and things as well. Let me go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and um, duplicate this page to show you a different color. Before I uh, download it, I'm going to do, um, that ain't what I wanted to do. <laughs> and I'm going to do, let's see, I'm going to make a blue border on it. You can do, I'm going to do that pink. I'm going to do the inside. Like I said, guys, you change your colors. Like I said, if you do these yourself, guys, you can make these whatever color you want them to be. You don't have to be uh, stuck with white backgrounds and borders or whatever else <laughs> that's, you know, that, that is sold currently, okay? So whenever you get bored of looking at something, you can just make you some new ones, okay? <laughs> Let me download this real quick so y'all can see what it look like, okay? Uh, so we're doing page five and six only of this download. We don't need to see everything. So I'm going to do page five and... I'm gonna do I'm gonna do page five, six, and seven. Those are the pages I actually worked on today. So I'm gonna and highlight this. Let me see. Good God, my computer's slow today, guys. Okay, so I click the top box. I'm gonna select the page I actually want to look at that I want to download. All right, and it's gonna be five, six, and seven. And I'm going to make sure this says PDF print. Okay, five, six, and seven. PDF print. Download. All right, um, it's downloaded now. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up in my download folder so we can look and see what it looks like. Okay. Uh, come on, let's see what is going on here. Let me try it again, guys. Okay, and like I said, the first one is going to be the one I'm actually using. I mean, I might um, do a little bit more work to it, but uh, those are the size boxes that I actually wanted when I did the tutorial, okay, from before I made it, before I came on. So it was more perfect in my in essence, but this is what it looks like, okay? So basically, if you um, want to do a, a month ahead challenge, or this is what it looks like. If you want the one that said, actually says rent or what it's for, you can do it like that. So like I said, rent tracker total rent amount divided by 42 icons is going to be the amount that each rent sign is worth so you then again you put that number there then you put it down here then you'll color these in monthly total rent so whatever your monthly rent is say if it's 900 dollars divided by 42 okay so that's how it looks and then this one over here like i said you got the boxes you, you can put any bill category here so you can have just pages of these if you want to just you know sell these by themselves without the icons and people could just write whatever category they want that way they'd be all exactly all the same but if you, i mean if you like difference and you change it up a little bit okay so that is it i'm gonna get off of here guys <laughs> <laughs> guys but let me let me hurry i'm gonna end this in a second okay because my computer's about to die i don't have time to get to my charger but um here we go all right so we go down i'm just showing you what they look like same situation it's a little foggy there all right but you get the gist okay but like i said with that being said 
I'm going to go ahead and get ready to end the video. And these are the color ones you can have, okay? So there you go. So you just change your colors based on what the colors you like. And you can just change your trackers out when you get sick of looking at them. Put on, put on some new ones, okay? And you have the same thing. Just change the colors and the download and be done, all right? <laughs> but that's it, guys. I'm going to end it here. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up. I'll be back with um, another tutorial to, to do some utility type ones exactly like this. So we can finish our whole complete download this week, guys, okay? But I just wanted to show you an example. I may do it in A6 instead of A5 to show you the difference, okay? But this is, in general, what the month ahead trackers or how they are done, okay? So, like I said, subscribe to the channel, guys. Get, leave me some comments for future tutorials and share the video. And um, watch the ads directly after. And I'm done. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.